the controls are very very similar to the helicopter controls where you have your throttle control you have your rudder for the turnings and you have your um, elevator and your aileron um, the only difference is on a quadcopter it's a little more stable and you don't actually bend you more like slide you have to almost look like it like if you're ice skating uh, that's how quadcopters work uh, there's four sets of blades there is no pitch to worry about um, the way a quadcopter turns is that the blades on the let's say if you want to go forward on it here let me grab this little guy here explain a little easier these four blades are spinning at high speed and that's what keeps the quadcopter balanced. Inside the quadcopter there is a small gyro that you know stops it from wobbling around. In order for you to go forward, the motors in the front will slow down while the motors in the back speed up, causing this thing to tilt. Then both motors, all four motors, then are taking you forward. Same thing with tilting this way, tilting that way. Quadcopters operate on axes, it's just like a um, like a helicopter where in this case this one has a six axis gyro which will allow you to balance at multiple angles because with a quad, quad with a quadcopter besides just doing this and this you can actually back this way at different angles so I'll give you a quick demo flight of this little guy and of the big guy uh, and I'll actually put the camera on the big guy so you can get a uh, little view from the sky uh, from the helicopter. All right, let me go ahead and let me do. Uh, let me stra strap up the camera and just give you a quick run on the little guy. I think you've seen it before. Um, so let me just do a quick startup. The binding process is identical to both of these with this type of control. You put it on a level surface. You turn on the quadcopter. You turn on your remote, but instead of getting the beeps, you actually go accelerate, decelerate, and the binding process is complete. All right, and then you can control the lights and the speed. Uh, quadcopters usually has more than just two speeds. On helicopters, you have your high and low. On a quadcopter, you got 40, 60, 80, in this case, 100. I'm going to go ahead and slap it at 100 percent and what that does uh, the speed difference on the control pretty much tell the quadcopter how much it can bend so at 40 percent it'll bend this much and it'll move pretty smooth at 100 percent it'll almost go completely vertical thus allow you to fly faster and fly in the wind so and again if i accelerate on the quadcopter let's move this over a little bit it'll simply crank up the motors and it'll shoot up just like you saw in my other videos now I'm holding a camera on my hand because I don't have the, the head cam so I'm just gonna shoot up really fast and just bring it back down and there it is oops let me bring it back <laughs> so pretty straightforward pretty simple uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set up the large one slap the camera on it do some spins and then shoot up into the sky so you can see how the uh, the camera operates on the quadcopter all right for this one in particular I designed my own mount for the camera to make it easier um, keep it lightweight because uh, the, the thing with quadcopter is something you have to look into when getting into quadcopters if you just want to fly around and have fun then definitely like the WL Toys 262 is great if you want to put a GoPro on this it's gonna be a little heavy um, that's why I recommend like a Mobius camera or something very very light if you're gonna go into heavier you know videography and photography then you gotta go with the stronger quadcopters like the blades and the Wakaras um, this is more, this is very lightweight and you want to keep this light, so, you know, has fun. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and slap the camera on this. Alright, I'm going to place it on the ground here. And I'm going to bind it up. Alright, we should be bound up. The noise you're going to hear is the motors cranking up. Alright, so what I'm going to do here is it's going to be a little loud, the noise from the, the, the motor. So I'm going to start taking off. I'm going to slowly turn around, face myself where I'm at so you can kind of see the marine in the back. And then I'm going to slowly shoot up into the sky as high as I can until I start seeing that the wind is getting a little too, you know, a little too buggy. 
and then I'll swing it around a little bit. Now, since there's people playing uh, some football over there, I'm not going to get too close. So I'm going to try to keep it at, at an angle over there. Alright, let me put my timer on. some um well, that's my alarm just on time <laughs> we had a couple of gusts hitting up there um let me go ahead and turn off this alarm it wasn't too bad when i went a little high uh, i had to compensate a lot the gust was pulling it too much and since i don't want to be stuck back there between those trees or fall into the marina uh, i pulled it down a little bit and go ahead and uh hit the little guy right now all have right let's fun. have some fun with the little guy He's got a three minute timer, so we gotta make it quick. Uh, and I don't wanna be up too high and lose him and launch him up. All right, here we go. Big guy had his rain. Now the little guy's gonna have some fun. <laughs> now I did add a little bit of a little bracket on him, so, and let's fly a little bit. There we go. And there he goes. Oh, oh, which way is he facing? That's the thing, the smaller they are. See, that's one of the problems with quadcopters is that you really got to realize when he's facing you and when he's not. All right, there he's facing me a little bit. Jeez. So, with a helicopter, it's a little easier to, to realize uh, what orientation you're in because you have a nose on one side, you have a little stick on the other. With these guys, they look the same regardless if they're face forward or backwards. So <laughs> you got to keep an eye on, okay, is it going away from you or is it coming to you? There he goes. 
So it's really easy to lose your orientation. With the more expensive quadcopters, the bigger ones, they do have a GPS tracking uh, and they have a come home feature. So if you're really out there and no matter what you're doing, it's not coming back and you're kind of freaking out, you can hit the come home feature and uh, it'll come right back to where you took off or at least about a foot to where you took off. All right, let's shoot this guy straight up. Let me keep him forward. He can go pretty high, look at that. Uh, oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, again, you gotta be careful with the orientation, which way he's facing. Yeah, he's a fun little guy, indoor and outdoor, but maybe you gotta make sure you keep an eye on him. Go ahead and bank him a little bit there. <laughs> you can get lost really easy you know these are good indoor slash outdoor but you'll lose it um, outdoor if you're not careful uh, normally they don't come with that little plastic uh, protector I added that so I can see it a little easier inside I mean outside and easier to find it if I lose it they do have like you know different colors like neon and stuff like that but again like the helicopter same thing you know forward is this one backwards is this one you bank it same way you accelerate the same way and you spin around the same way all right there goes my timer for my three minute battery so this thing should be coming down soon so i'm not gonna push it too much and i'm gonna attempt a safe landing Yay! All right, there he goes. So, back to orientation on quadcopters. That's one of the biggest difference too when flying the quadcopters is that on helicopters it's pretty easy to tell because you have a long nose on one side and a stick in the other, which way is forward, uh, even at pretty far distances. On the quadcopters, you know, uh, most of these come with some blades painted. In this case, the red equals back on this one, and white is forward. Um, but still from far away <laughs> yeah right so the easiest way I do is when you're flying far away is kind of bank it hard backwards and see which way it turns then carefully hit the the, um, the rudder you know to the left and start rotating banking some more rotating banking some more so you will kind of see that it's banking towards you so now you know that it's facing away from you and then just bring it back you know you can't just um, you, know, you can't go crazy and push it too hard so um, from far away you're not gonna be able to tell so all right, um, I think that's good for the quads. I'm gonna have a little fun with my heli before I gotta get back to work. Um, let me see what time I have. Let's see from there. So um, there's a lot to cover with quadcopters, but this pretty much gives you the basics. Um, everything you can do with the helicopter, you can do with the quad. Uh, quads are fast, but not as fast as helicopters, and obviously not as fast as airplanes. Uh, but they are very, very stable. Um, they're pretty easy to keep straight uh, as long as you got a nice gyro on them. Uh, they'll, 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 hold, they'll hold themselves pretty well. And like I mentioned before, they're, it's kind of like ice skating, you know, it's not, it's not a, a soft, you know, you kind of want to glide it this way and glide it that way and, you know, kind of glide it forward and backwards. For film, they use something called a gimbal. And uh, what the gimbal does, actually it has two little motors. So if you're flying and you bend forward like this, the last thing you want to do is you, you, want, you don't want your camera to kind of be bobbing up and down. So what the gimbal does, it compensates the uh, opposite direction of what you're moving. So if you're flying forward and you're moving, your camera gimbal will move opposite. So that way your camera is always staying in the same position. Same thing as if you're banking left and right, the gimbal will move opposite. So the camera, while filming, stays the whole time. This does not have a gimbal. It just has a vibration dampener to uh, minimize some of the uh, the motor's vibration. So you will see the camera bobbing up and down as it's flying. Compared to if it had a gimbal, no matter how much I bend or move or flip, you know, to a point, the, the, the video will be smooth, you know? So, all right, that should be good. I'll see you guys next time and uh, hope you enjoy my videos. Hi. <laughs> The, the, uh, uh, most dangerous helicopter in the air right now. Flame, you playing Bumblebee this morning? Not gonna make it. Oh, right. Right. look at that! Woo! It's upside down world. Oh. Again. Oh.
Okay, that thing is getting gone. Quick here. Wired up a switch. Out of the bag. 3,000 milliamps. Yeah. Uh, IMAX B6 AC. Battery fits. It's finally here. Camera Devo 10 remote. All right, as you can see. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. V262 quadcopter. The Radjet 800. It's gonna move its sway like this. Right out of the box. That's cool. You see, I'm not even touching the control. It's like... I'm at 25, maybe 20 there. 